Please allow me to introduce to you your most avid of admirers, my daughter, Miss Lefroy. Miss Orson, what a pleasure to meet you. Will you read for us this evening? Uh, well, you see, my sister never reads. Otherwise, how else is she supposed to remain anonymous? But... Jane. I will make an exception, if my new friend wishes it. Come sit by me. <sighs> she is lovely, Tom. She began now to comprehend that he was exactly the man who, in disposition and talents, would most suit her. His understanding and temper, though unlike her own, would have answered all her wishes. It was an union that must have been to the advantage of both. By her ease and liveliness, his mind might have been softened, his manners improved. And from his judgment, information, and knowledge of the world. She must have received benefit of greater importance. But no such happy marriage could now teach the admiring multitude what connubial felicity really was.